What's up, guys? So, music making is supposed to be fun, right? I, um, I don't know. Like, I, I've been spending a while, like, trying to learn Ableton and trying to understand why I don't have that much fun using Ableton. And sometimes I have fun, but most of the time I don't. And I think I kind of cracked the code like at first I was kind of giving some thought to am I just not a DAW guy do I just not like working on a computer or on a screen to make music do I just absolutely much prefer using hardware like this or my OPZ which I was using earlier um, or what else like a keyboard workstation like my Roland Phantom and I thought about that for a while and I th think part of the answer to that question is yes, but the other part is that I would say the place that I have maybe some of, if not most of, like the best music that I made is actually in a DAW. It's actually in Korg Gadget, and. I've, I've learned that getting started with music, starting with a blank slate in Ableton up to this point in my life, it's just not it for me. It's not it. It's I was watching videos of like a guy going through like how he starts music and stuff and he like he's clicking in the MIDI, uh, MIDI editor and he's like doing randomization and chants and all this stuff and I'm like this is driving me crazy watching it. It's cool that the feature exists. I just got a software update uh, prompt on here. Let's close that it's cool that that the feature exists but or the features exist but I think Ableton has so much customization built into it that it's just absolutely frustrating for me honestly so I look at that kind of similar to something like like when I used to do a lot more stuff on my iPad I look at something like Koala sampler versus loopy pro you know a looper or a sampler versus a looper type thing right and I was like, why am I having such a hard time like getting into the mix and getting into the flow with Loopy Pro? Like, why is it? And I know that a big part of it has to do with the fact that there's so much customization built into it that I, I don't like having that type of freedom personally. Like, even if you're like, all right, you have the freedom there, but you don't have to use it. Just make it something that works for you. In my mind, I'm like, okay, I can do that. But then I'm also going to always be thinking like, oh, it can get a little bit better and I can make some tweaks to it. And then the moment you make tweaks, like the muscle memory is not there anymore. Um, and I, I struggled with that. Gadget doesn't have any customization. Koala doesn't have really any customization. It's kind of like the layout is what it is. And obviously hardware like the OPZ and all these other things don't have customization. So I'm aware of that. And now kind of going back to some of the stuff we've been talking about, like with regards to Ableton Move or Ableton Push, there are certain things, a lot of things about Ableton that I do enjoy. Like I have made a lot of great music when I owned a Push 2 many years ago. And my thought is like the workflow was kind of like get started with music on the hardware and then move it into Ableton and then kind of tweak it and do all those other things in the DAW, which is more fun for me, right? Because the, the idea started now, I can just kind of add little bits and pieces um, as needed on the computer, or at least from move to the computer. I guess with push three, I may not even need to ever go into the computer. But I don't know. It, I, I, just, I was just at a cafe just now working on stuff, and I'm like, I was like, it's kind of cool learning, you know, some of the ins and outs, but it's also like just fr a little bit frustrating honestly like I, I'm like I just prefer certain things and realizing that I'm trying to like force the issue a little bit in certain areas in terms of making music is not necessarily a, a right thing to do I don't think right um, so I don't know I'm curious to know what you guys think about that but I guess from my perspective you know not even back to the drawing board but I'm gonna like spend some more time in core gadget on my Mac um, which is an area that I've been really enjoying because you know it has a USB port it has a headphone port on there um, versus you know the iPad not having two different ports on there so it kind of presented some some challenges and then even like the upright aspect of a Mac right I, I enjoy certain elements of that right it's upright so rather than looking down I'm like looking forward to make music like the iPad I feel like I'm talking fast the iPad is like you know stationed on a desk so are you looking down at it and that's not good for your neck or anything like that um so yeah, just figuring things out. I think one other piece that I kind of realized today that I wanted to give a go, and I think I am going to do just that, is I've been thinking about my OPZ a lot. I've been thinking about how I want to kind of get back into like exploring and experimenting with samples on there. And I'm thinking like, I want to put this to some better use. I haven't really been doing much with this lately. And so in my mind, I'm like, all right, let me use the OPZ. 
to plug in USB-C and let me power this up with the OPZ first off. And then let me explore just that, you know, one, one um, 3.5 cable from here into the OPZ and like explore using some of these samples into the Z. Um, slash, just explore bringing this back out with me and like just experiment with it some more rather than always thinking of, you know, the next thing that I need to get. Like, let me spend some considerable amount of time like learning the hardware that I currently have and kind of having fun with it. So that's the update here. Um, kind of rambling a little bit, but that's okay. The other thing is like my, my Roland Phantom over here. The 61 key um, up for sale. If anyone's interested in buying it, shoot me a, a, a you know, re this is the Phantom EX6. I uh, mentioned it in a previous video. Um, it is available. I have everything that it comes with brand new. It's only been used really a handful of times. It's in whatever beyond mint condition is. It's like between mint and brand new. Um, so yeah, do your research if you're really interested in it. It's a, you know, obviously an expensive piece of hardware, but um, I, I am going minimalist in the approach and in that in that mindset I'm kind of getting rid of stuff that's superfluous is that the right word um, in my studio and in my life not people but things right maybe people too eventually I don't know but yeah let me know uh, if you're interested shoot me a message find you know find my email address phone number I'll put my email I guess in the comments or you can find it in like the about section or something but I'm curious to know what you guys think about like music sometimes it's ups and downs right like it's like some amount of time is spent like being creative in the stuff that you already know and then some amount of time is like exploring and ex and finding creativity and inspiration in the things that you don't know by by learning how to use them and just understanding that you know as a creator you don't want to just overdo it with like the new stuff and learning new stuff you have to make sure you find time to just dive into the stuff that you already know and just kind of have fun with it and for me you know that's kind of gadget that's kind of core gadget uh so i'm going to spend some more time with that lately that's not the right word in the future in the near future and i appreciate you guys watching watching the what's going on with me i think i'm pretty hungry right now and like exhausted i had a long day but i appreciate you watching um definitely check out channel memberships i have three channel members now which is really really cool i'm excited about that and it's a space that i want to continue to grow and create exclusive content for my channel members and exclusive opportunities to like be the only people who can contribute uh in the chat and things like that once i get like maybe 10 channel members uh so definitely check that out uh, and I appreciate you guys. I appreciate everyone that's, you know, been rocking with my content and that enjoys th these types of videos. Also, Chordmaster Keys, like all of these videos for now on that are more so talking videos are now Chordmaster Keys episodes uh, as a podcast, right? So you can get these right where you've been getting these, but you can also get these in the podcast form um, wherever you get your podcast, Spotify or Apple Podcasts. And I'm really excited about that. I think that's a very important step just to make this content that, is kind of a podcast in a way. It's just me talking sometimes, sometimes showing, but sometimes talking. Um, and so I'm very excited about that because I listen to podcasts all the time and I understand the benefits of just having that feed and knowing that you're just getting that. People enjoy that, you know, sometimes versus like the algorithm and dealing with that and stuff like that uh, on YouTube. So it'll be here on YouTube as well, but also like on Spotify for the video podcast and then everywhere else just for the audio podcast. That's a mouthful. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. I'm going to go upstairs with my wife right now, and we're going to feed our six-month-old son solids for the first time. It's not really solids. It's like thick, you know, like, like oatmeal, but I guess that's considered solids. Anyway, have a great day. See you guys on the next one. Peace.